Hey, hey guys! Hi, welcome back to Awkward, Awkward Stage. Stage the podcast. I'm Alina. I'm Nicole, and um, we're your hosts. We're your hosts. You know us, but and we have an incredible, amazing guest today: Natasha Benham, Hi. actress, comedian, my friend. <laughs> I'm so excited Hello. that you're here. Hi, Natasha. I'm so excited to be here. Um, I'm not British. I shouldn't have started. I think I feel like that was Australian. Yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, know. but you're she's not Australian. Oh, so I'm gonna take these off because okay. I feel like everyone. We has love now your seen glasses. Yeah, yes. And yes. now I can. Mm-hmm. Yeah, now, we got the, ooh, we got the wow. picture now. Um, yes. for for those <laughs> just listening to the podcast and not <laughs> <laughs> she's wearing very nine. Are they nineties glasses? Would you say? I think they're seventies. Seventies orange. Okay, mm-hmm. orange seventies yes. glasses. They look really. Uh, your whole know. outfit, I love. It's very. It gives me a nineties vibe, which I'm all about. Thank you so much. Mm-hmm. Everyone in this room knows this, but I did not know that this podcast <laughs> was filmed today. We're so sorry. Yeah, we like to really shock our guests. Yeah, we should um, maybe let our guests know or not. But it's we will kind post. Of fun. We will also post a picture to our Instagram for anyone who wants to see your outfit who, who for anyone who's everyone only has to go At look awkward <laughs> stage pod on P-O-D. Instagram <laughs> follow P-O-D. us follow us on Instagram <laughs> so you guys are friends you guys have known each other yes for we quite Nikki some and I time way back yeah we went to college together and we were on the improv team in college mm. we did and I thought Nicole the cool kids Nicole <laughs> was the cool kid Nicole was like Miss Thing in college like Oh my gosh, I thought she was so cool. I, what was I? I was a sophomore well, when you were senior. I, I don't know if that's actually true. I think you were just two years younger than me. Okay. So oh, like, yeah. You Older thought, kids are always. I thought yeah. she was really cool. And she lived in the sorority house that all the hot girls lived in. Oh, and oh. And she was like the president of the improv team, which now sounds really lame. But <laughs> sounds, at the time, I thought that, that makes sense. It actually sounds so stupid. Like I... <laughs> Like I like the auditions for the improv team in college were like so legit, and we thought they were so important. And oh, we no. just like someone like literally like could be like six months older than <laughs> you, like sitting in front of you, being like, "Okay, that's not funny." Now we're gonna play zip zap zop. <laughs> Get it right, bitches. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, and yeah. it's like in the improv community, you feel really important, but to everyone else, it's like, look at these, look at these losers, like doing I know, the improv. Is that true, because. I look back and I still think that people and thought professors. we were really cool. Well, oh. I think we thought we were really cool because we like made the team. But mm. in, in the grand scheme of things, like my sorority friends were not coming to my improv shows. <laughs> <laughs> Were they really you know? not? In my head, I mean, my were. roommates were, but it wasn't like... In my head, every top house in Greek life would come to the improv shows. The hottest the of the hottest hot. The hottest of the hot. The coolest of the cool, yeah. They were all there. You know what? Let's just for let's just for our sake let's say that say they were. That, I know. Let's just I'm, say like that it was. A, but I have we like performed when I in a coffee it, shop. Oh, <laughs> see, there it is. There it is. Fine, we were lame. It, yeah, we <laughs> felt cool, but we were. But lame. We were cool to each other. And it's that's just what like yeah. the. And now we're cool to each other still. The coffee yeah. shop with all the kids that like don't have friends and like pedophiles of t- of the town. Yeah, pedophiles. <laughs> oh my gosh, we had their kids. Probably. Yeah, all the people. Yeah, I took it there. <laughs> Alina has said some really crazy things on this podcast. Talking about pedophiles, you are an actress. <laughs> it's like the one thing you're not supposed to ever touch on is, pedo- is, is pedophilia. pedophilia. Well, can we just say that we here at you Awkward Stage are against pedophiles? Yes. Against is that yeah. pedophiles. And let's say that? just quickly move past this. <laughs> right, okay. Um, okay, we're, we won't talk about pedophiles any longer. Okay, okay. so you are an actress. <laughs> Natasha, we're gonna- I'm an actor who's not a pedophile. <laughs> but um, can I just say congratulations, you just booked a really cool really fucking HBO cool Max job series. i am very 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 excited how much are we allowed to say it's hbo max i think we can say everything because yes. it's been announced yes okay um here we're so announcing it so here. the character you're playing <laughs> yeah, the this character is the breaking you're playing news. you're you're one of two leads of the show well wow. technically i think i'm one of four leads okay it's called Girls on the Bus. It's HBO Max. It's a one-hour political drama, which is ridiculous because I am a comedian, but maybe they don't know. I don't know. It's fine. <laughs> We're not going to tell anyone. Um, and yeah, it's like four women journalists following the presidential campaign around America. Ooh, We're all very it. different. It's about how we become friends. I'm playing the young. Is it a specific a presidential fighter. campaign young from history fighter. or is it like a fictional one? It's all fictional. Okay. But I think it's kind of based on what's going on. Right, like right, there's yeah. like an... Uh, for people listening, I'm doing air quotes. There's like an AOC type oh, yeah, yeah. of president mm-hmm. candidate. President I just candidate. love a political drama centered around women. Yes. Because yeah. we need more of that. Yeah. 
Yeah, we're so done with Aaron like Sorkin. Art imitates <laughs> life. Kidding. Life imitates art. Maybe if we just start to really see it a ton on TV, we'll get some women uh-huh. in politics. Mm-hmm. Natasha for president. Yes, yes. you're doing That's very exactly important work. what I want. <laughs> that is exactly what I want. Okay, so eventually, so we're gonna get to asking you about like when your awkward stage of life was, but okay. let's just start with where you grew up. I grew up in Orange County, California. Oh, you did? <laughs> You're yeah, a California native? Which is, womp, womp. No, uh, I am a California native. Mm-hmm. I had a great little childhood in Orange County, but, um, you know, I grew up and I left and I was like, oh, that's a silly little place. So as someone <laughs> who grew up in um, a very diff- opposite place to like a beach, beach town or like beach place which was germany i i grew up in germany yes. germany has no beaches no okay. there's beaches oh but they're very different no palm trees <laughs> very different. <laughs> um a lot of rain yeah. i always picture people growing up like by like on the coast in california just going to the beach like every day surfing yeah. like you know it's like the stereotypical yeah. is that it's what weirdly was kind of like? true it's weirdly kind of true oh, I, I was like, right the good memories of my childhood which there's a ton of are all like beach centered mm-hmm. and I wasn't like on the beach I was like in the suburbs but we like bonfires were a big thing like when we were in high school in the summers you go to the beach every single day like I tried to surf once but I couldn't um I literally was laying on the surfboard and the first step is like just get on your knees it's so hard I could not get up it's so hard yeah Alina went surfing with my sister yeah (laughs) it's so hard and also what like it's just like the physics of it I'm like this is not I've never I've never had the urge to try surfing Nicole, you maybe next time me and your sister um, go <laughs> surfing, you can come. I no, I was invited, and I said absolutely not. Did you guys get up on the boards? We want like Michelle, Nicole's sister, got up a bunch. She was like a pro, wow, and go I got Michelle. up like twice. She's like a sh- athlete. Yeah, she's, she's so strong. She's really strong. Good for her. But I <laughs> always like whenever I do something, even though it's not something that I need to make my career or I don't have to be good at it, I have to get the teacher to say like good job (laughs) i have to get let's unpack that childhood (laughs) trauma (laughs) maybe another time i just wanted to tell you that you're doing a really good job today oh my god hey alina this podcast great okay we're gonna come back in a second but we (laughs) first are gonna hear from our amazing incredible sponsors Sponsors. sorry i just want to be involved (laughs) how well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life That's how our brains work, so why don't we treat them that way? How we care for our minds affects how we experience life, so it's important to invest time and care into keeping them healthy. There are plenty of ways to support a healthy brain, like learning a new language or taking power naps. There's also BetterHelp Online Therapy. I've always been interested in ways to take care of my mental health, like meditating and journaling. And during the pandemic, I actually started online therapy with BetterHelp, and I really like it. I feel like I understand myself a lot better. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat-only therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist in under 48 hours. Our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash awkward. That's betterhelp.com slash awkward. That's A-W-K-W-A-R-D. Bye. Okay, so when was the awkward stage of your life? Let's, let's get to the nitty gritty. Let's get to the meat. Oh, <laughs> the meat. Um, okay, here's the thing. I was, I'm thinking of this, and okay. I'm like, I don't know. I think either my entire life, my entire childhood was an awkward stage, yeah. and I didn't know, or... <laughs> Like, I think back, certainly around, like, elementary school, middle school, I was, like, fucking weird, right? Like, we all were. Yeah. But the thing was that I don't know what was wrong with me. I thought I was cool. I always (laughs) have thought I was cool. I've always thought I was popular, hot, cool. I wish you guys had a photo of me, though, because you would know that this is not true. Okay, but can we get a photo? photo Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah. It's, like, I'm adorable. Like, looking back, I'm, like, you're so cute and stupid. Like, my hair, I'm Middle Eastern. I have 
poofy, poofy, big curly hair. And my mom, I would shower. She would part it down the middle, tie it in a low bun at the base of my neck, like flat <laughs> middle part low bun. Like I'm like so chubby. I'm always sweaty and red because I was like running around like so excited. I like my clothes. I was wearing like hot pink and glitter constant. Like nothing worked. Oh, the one hot thing that was cool about me was and platform glitter. sandals. Oh, you I always you were on that trend. Sandals. Yeah. yeah. But other than Have that, you asked your mom, like, what's up with the low bun? Like a she... lawyer? <laughs> a lawyer at the top and a dancer at the bottom. <laughs> I think they were trying to, uh, I don't know. I think she was trying to, like, protect me. She was like, you have, t- this hair is too camp- much hair. I have too much hair. <laughs> it was sweaty. It was just so curly. Like, she was like, just put it away which now I'm like I don't know I should I'm gonna really have a confrontation with my mom about that yeah but. fuck her up yeah so like middle school <laughs> mid- you said my mom, mom uh, is so sweet my mom is kind of can't mom. believe I just <laughs> yeah. said fuck her up I know yeah. I love you mom sweetest woman this is Nicole's <laughs> advice for today fuck off your, fuck mom. Up your mom <laughs> talk to your mom about what the um, fuck okay was going so on. okay so you're you're running around you're wearing glitter yeah so would you say like that's elementary school I'm thinking like sixth grade, seventh grade, mm, eighth grade. Okay, classic. These three years. Yeah, it is kind of classic. Yeah. How, how old is that? Like 12, 13, 11? Yeah, 11, 12, 12 13, yeah. 14. Let's say 11 to 14. Mm-hmm. And yeah. What I, kind of kid were you? Like what kind of interests did you have? I was uh, I was psychotic. I was psychotic. <laughs> I was out of my mind. Like I'm, I'm not joking. I thought I was literally the coolest girl in the world. Like I would watch... You guys, you have to have a photo for context. Yes. So just picture what I yeah, said, okay? Yeah. Not cute, not cute. Sweaty, like drooling, I feel like. Like just really drooling. everything. Was like, yeah, that's how I picture myself. And I would watch like Pussycat Dolls music videos and I was like, that's me. Ooh. Like yeah. I thought I was that. Maybe I'm going to loosen up the Because I guess. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was Pussycat cool. Dolls was like early aughts or was like when did Pussycat Dolls become? 2005? It must have been middle school. Yeah. Well, but I don't it was know. also middle school for me, me. But you're younger than me, so maybe just know. Pussycat Dolls just lives in middle like school. Like 2008, <laughs> it, does. it does. That's the only time. Like middle schools are still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something, yeah. something around so there. So I would like. I loved the Pussycat Dolls. I do too. They were so hot, iconic. I went Sexual to awakening. a Christina uh-huh. Aguilera concert, and uh-huh. Pussycat Dolls opened <gasps> for her, and Perfect it was. Perfect combination. I went with my dad and my uncle. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> The perfect group. My dad and my uncle took me and my sister because my uncle like used to get concert tickets through work or whatever, and so he got these concert tickets. Oh my and God. so he would like take me and my sister, and like we could each bring a friend. But then he would like bring my dad too. So it was like my dad and my uncle taking these like teenage girls to. Yeah, and Christina you guys are like Aguilar singing and, like, and like, yeah. like being like loosen up my buttons, yeah. babe. I would love like if that changed their lives somehow. If they had like an awakening or something, like, I think they. Ju- I think they loved it. They loved it. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyways, good music. anyways, back to our anyways. guest. Enough yes. about me and so my uncle. So were you trying to take, you were taking inspiration, <laughs> you were taking your cues from the Pussycat Dolls. I was. And let me be clear, like, mm-hmm. absolutely, like, I had never kissed a boy. Like, I <laughs> was very far from that. But I, like, had this confidence. Like, I was like, I'm that. So I walked around, like, I ran for, like, class president, oh and I thought gosh. it was cool in eighth grade. I won. So I, <gasps> it wasn't did? cool. What was your campaign? Like, did you have? Have a camp- it was like a thing um I'm trying to think I do remember I'm sort of I'm like embarrassed I'm like I don't want to say <laughs> no please this, no, this well, is that's what, what we're, we're here, here for, for. Whoa. Oh, okay okay right. soulmates this does feel quite embarrassing but my entire campaign was <laughs> like like it's gonna be a party if I'm <laughs> Like, my poster said, like, vote Natasha, like, let the good times roll. <laughs> like, you're going to, gonna, like, organize dances. Oh, I want to die. I was I like, l- you're going to have the most fun of your life if I'm president. Like, what does that even mean? It's, it's probably the girl true. with the bun. It's you're probably like, the true. low bun, and you're like, I'm the president of party. <laughs> <laughs> I know how to party. I did. Like, oh, my God, wearing, like, I don't know, like, these tight pink long sleeve shirts. Like, nothing, oh. nothing but about me said platform party. platform sandals say party they do and what was the they glitter do. element of your outfit sometimes like was it like a glittery belt or like you know how like those in the 2000s the shirts were popular that had like yeah. sayings on yes. them writing yeah. like yes. fun stuff graphic like angel 
Yeah, or like I would shop like, at Limited too, and mm-hmm. I remember I have oh, yeah. one shirt that was an an explanation of like why I don't have my homework. <laughs> And it was like a big paragraph, a big paragraph. It was like a ton of writing on the shirt. Like that was the joke. Like here's a story. I would have loved that. It was my favorite shirt I wore all the time and I had it memorized. And so when people would say, what's on your shirt? I would say it. I would just say it out loud. My dog had my paper, so that's why I don't have my homework. And it, but point. for like five minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then a spaceship came and then bubble. Like it was crazy. And there was glitter everywhere. Like so the writing yeah. was always in glitter. Mm-hmm. Like the sh- Oh, I, you know. we need a picture oh. of that shirt. I haven't got to try and find it. I'll we'll ask find my mom. It. Ask yes. your mom and then fuck her up. And then fuck her up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> my mom does not know what's coming for her. Okay. Yeah. So um, do we, okay, do we have like, a specific embarrassing story from this phase. I love the confidence though. I love like a lot of awkward stages are like, I was so awkward, like I was so awkward and I didn't know what I was doing, but you're like, I knew I was amazing. what yeah. I was doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Yeah. And then in retrospect, bad, you were though. like, oh, it was my awkward stage. Yes. I was like, yeah. girl, like in some ways she inspires me. Like I I'm like, so. wow, go you. In other ways, I'm like, oh, I'm my inspired God. by her. I mean, she was class president. So mm-hmm. that says but something. It wasn't cool. In high school, it was cool. But I was not president in high school. In middle school. Did you run? Uh, every single year. <laughs> wait, wait, Natasha. Every single year. Was it a party? Oh, my God. No, of course was not. Was school a party? No, I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I tried to get vending machines for the school. We didn't have them. That was the one thing I tried to do. It didn't It didn't happen. Wow. They did not respect you. Because I was you. 12. Did yeah. you have vending machines at your school? No. No. That's I don't not think a, I had vending machines in no. my school. In my yeah. American high school, I did. Oh, really? Huge mm. school, Dallas Town in Pennsylvania. Wow. Big school, big, yeah. Yeah, we did not. No. Um, I'm sorry. What did you didn't ask if there was one embarrassing thing? Oh, if thing? we have, yeah, <clears throat> do we have an embarrassing story from this phase? I'm really trying to think. Take your time. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. Skip the grocery store and spend more time soaking up those last moments of summer. HelloFresh Market is a one stop shop for all your mealtime needs. Need another reason to stay in for dinner? HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant, and it's even cheaper than grocery shopping. I love HelloFresh because I learned some cooking techniques that I wouldn't have learned otherwise. Like they had me put ginger into the rice before I cooked it, and I just have never done that. Go to HelloFresh.com slash Awkward16 and use code Awkward16 a w k w a r d one six for sixteen free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. Um. Okay. Wait. I remember one thing. Okay. Which is, this is part of the my unearned confidence mm-hmm. of like, what were you doing? So it's a little bit forward. It's sophomore year of high school. I still think that I was not cool. I still was not cool. Still wanted to be cool. Thought I was cool. Whatever. So I did run for president again, like I did every yeah. single year. Like I got this, which I never won because someone cooler won. Was How it fitting s- that now you're going to be on a political series? <laughs> oh, you have. I finally got. You it. have so yeah. much experience <laughs> running. I do. Okay, so I made these bracelets. I made like live strong bracelets oh. my sophomore year that said like vote. Natasha to hand them out. That's at cute. School. Yeah, it yeah. was really cute, right? Amazing <laughs> idea, in theory. Um, so I wrote "Vote Natasha for Sophomore Prez" on these, like I don't know, five hundred bracelets. I had a huge school, <laughs> and I spelt sophomore wrong. No, how did you spell? It? I spelt it S O P H M O R E. I left out the O, and like everyone knew. Oh, I would do that. Everyone knew, and I handed all of these bracelets out that were all spelled wrong because I didn't know oh. until people started laughing. They were like, like, we can't trust her. <laughs> she can't for, spell. She can't even spell. <laughs> How is she going to get us vending machines? Live Strong, strong bracelets were such a thing. Yes. Yeah, they were. I they still were. see them on people, and I'm like, really, are we still doing that? I have a, another thing back. just popped in my head from younger, like maybe like 12, but I'm like, it's, I don't know if I can share. It's like period stuff. Is that, well, well you talked about pedophiles. Yeah, so but can we, I, I want to ask you a few more questions. This, okay, podcast, a few more questions. <laughs> this podcast is all about periods and pedophiles. Yeah. 
a, that was Alina Bach, Sound not bite. Nicole Dubois. <laughs> yeah. I just want to make sure everyone knows that Alina's Pee-pee. the one getting canceled. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Um, okay, so how did you, like, who told you it was spelled wrong? Caleb Castella. <laughs> Okay, we, he was, was a senior oh. and very hot. Oh. And he was a water polo player Wait. and he was like six foot mm. two. Uh-huh. Right? And like brund brund hair, like blonde brown hair. That's yes. an OC thing, water polo. He was a hot oh. OC boy and he was cool and popular and everyone loved him. And so he was a couple grades above you. I was a sophomore, he was a senior. A senior, okay. Yeah. That's two grades above you, right? So you yes. were handing them out to just the whole school. Everyone. I was handing them. Uh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Not just the s- sophomores. No. <laughs> no. I was, I was being very ballsy. So, and then how did was he? Was that, like, w- was it shocking when he told you? How did he, he tell did you? Did he, like, mansplain it or was he, like, flirting he with started, you? Okay, was it so hot we were, when he told you? Yeah. <laughs> did you? In my yeah, after I will say it. We were sitting in the, like, ASB room, which was, like, the student council room, associated student body. And because I don't really remember why. I think maybe I was – I don't – I actually don't remember the details. But we were in that room. And I remember it was, like, day one. I, like, brought the bracelets out and I, like, handed them to everybody in that room. And I remember he just started cracking up. Oh. Oh. It was so bad. (laughs) And he, like, turned to Bryce Paul. Oh, who's Bryce Paul? Bryce, Bryce Paul was also hot and cool, and he was also a senior, and they were friends. Wait, oh. are they both running for president? Why are they in the a- they were in a- ASO office? They, they were in they were in the student council oh, because okay. the student oh, okay. council in high school was cool. Got it. And I was in it, by the way, just to give myself some credit. I yes. was in it. I just wasn't president ever, but mm-hmm. I was in it. Okay. So, um, and this year I was running for president again, and but whatever. And they were both in it as seniors, mm-hmm. and um, so they oh. started laughing, and I just. I remember I think I blocked out the details because trauma but I yeah. remember that he, that he was like you spelled sophomore wrong and they were laughing and I thank god little me I just started laughing like again probably trauma response I was like ha that's so silly like five years later I was like yeah. why did I do that <laughs> yeah it like keeps you up at night still yeah it does it really does I'm so happy we can resurface this trauma for you to heal it so yes so were there a lot of other people in the room was everyone laughing at you or what I think I remember those two laughing. Ugh. I think I think people were generally or nice. probably like a lot of people didn't notice, yeah. right? Like yeah. people. Why did are, they have to point it out? Why I did know. they have to mansplain spelling Caleb to everyone? Bryce, Caleb and Bryce. Why would you ever mansplain how to spell? <laughs> <laughs> Basic Don't. spelling. Who needs it? <laughs> yeah, come Who on. Who cares? Have you ever heard of Google? Jesus. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. that's was this like was that um, an experience where people tried to break your confidence or like had you already built up a defense mechanism by then? <laughs> Guys, like, something was wrong with me. Because you still, I, you like, still pass them all out. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like what? What's wrong? And then I probably was, would tell people I'm like, ha, I spelled it wrong. Like, which in retrospect, again, I'm like, I love her. Go you know her. What? We need more girls like her. But yeah. also, I'm like, where did that come from? Nobody like a psychotic. Where did I learn that? I don't know. I think it's the natural confidence that is just given to us. Yes. And then society takes it away. Tries to take it away, but not this one. Yes. Not this lawyer slash partier. Yeah. (laughs) Lawyer. (laughs) Where did lawyer? I think you're like exactly who you're supposed to be, and then you learn things and you change yourself. Yeah. 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 So, but you're so confident still. Yeah, but it gets harder when you grow up, and I try and remember her honestly. I'm like. Maybe just do what you did when you were 10. I'm going to make you a Live Strong bracelet that says sophomore <laughs> for your birthday. Correctly? No, no, spelled wrong. Spelled incorrectly? Okay. Or maybe like, um, maybe it will say adult, but it will say it will be spelled wrong. Okay. I, I want a bracelet that says vote Natasha for sophomore. sophomore. Yes. <laughs> for I sophomore. want that bracelet. Press had a Z, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> With oh, an that's, exclamation point. Because that's hot yes. and cool. Yeah. 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 <laughs> How yeah. long did it take you to make all those bracelets? I ordered them from a company. Oh, so, wow. Do you think she's like, you're organized. She's like melting. Like, yeah. yeah. I was like, yeah. I thought, I was picturing you like putting all these little beats onto like a string and then like Wait, spelling you know, it out. Wait, Livestrong bracelets were the rubber. Oh, I was thinking, you I was picturing something else. The friendship 
bracelets with like the with, letters. With like the little beads and oh, letters. That made me grew up in years. Germany. Yeah, that's because I'm different. It's because you're different. different. <laughs> other, other, other. <laughs> you didn't know about Lance. Wasn't it Lance Armstrong? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Lance Armstrong. You didn't know about Lance Armstrong. Who made those bracelets. Yeah, and then he people, personally got, made them. people got really disappointed in him for taking some pills yes, or something. I don't, uh, I don't, I don't know remember. the story. <laughs> Here, <laughs> me here's Nicole again bringing up drugs. Yeah. <laughs> Here, yeah. I don't know anything about Lance this. Armstrong does drugs. That's all you need to know. <laughs> <laughs> Live strong. Period. Um, no, they were like, you know those like rubber bracelets? Yes, they yes, come, actually. Yeah. They were like colorful. Classically, yeah. they were yeah. yellow when mm-hmm. they said, but then you started being able they to started make them. making yeah. everything. There was yeah. actually, I remember, we did we did have that. Yeah. Actually, Lance Armstrong is like a really huge influencer because he made those first and then everyone had the rubber bracelets. Yes, that's true. Original so. Original influencer. Elena, maybe you could learn a thing or two. <laughs> <laughs> Lance Armstrong, if you hear this, please contact me. <laughs> no, don't. Um. Okay, I feel like you were about to dive into another story. Yes, we want to hear the period story. And yeah, then we started period asking. related. Um, okay, so I was like maybe, I don't know, let's just say 11. Mm-hmm. And my I have an older sister who was always hot, cool, and popular. Like she actually was, I was yeah. never. And she had a friend and our the friend was over at our house and the friend had a hot, cool older brother. Ooh. And so the friend's mom and hot, cool older brother came over <laughs> around like- Let's never give anyone names. No. We'll just describe yeah. them as like hot, cool older brother. Unless it's Caleb and Bryce. <laughs> yeah. Who I'm hexing. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. That's literally so weird. I'm no, joking. No. You should um, fuck I'm cool. Them <laughs> <laughs> Make a list of all the people you need to fuck up after this podcast. Yes. Oh God. Okay. okay. So the hot, cool brother, the mom, are coming over to our house around 6 or 7 p.m. to pick up their daughter, the, mm-hmm. my sister's friend. And I knew the brother was hot. So I was, like, excited. I'm, like, 11. I'm excited he's coming over. I'm Nicole Scherzinger of Pussycat Dolls in yeah. my head. Yes. So I'm, like, and I t- did night showers and put my hair in the bun. This is that time. So I took my shower and I put my hair in my low bun and my pajamas were – um, like pajama pants, you know, that go to the floor. And then um, like a nighty. what are they called? Like a dress. Oh, like a muumu? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, yes, exactly <laughs> that. Exactly that. Uh, over the pants? Over the pants. Oh. So I'm wearing a pajama dress that goes like to my knees that was yellow and had stars on it and then blue and pink pajama pants underneath it. Oh. That's my hot pussycat dolls outfit. Yeah. Oh my gosh. And my hair's in a bun. And I had just I can picture this so clearly. Mm-hmm. My period. Oh, I just like got for the first it. time. For the first, like recently. I I don't remember exactly, but around that time, I had just started my period for the first time, mm-hmm. and I, so I didn't really know much, you know. And by the way, did I use a tampon? Of course not. No. <laughs> Who no. do you think I am? No. no you're, it's why, hard to figure out tampons when you first have like, to. Why also like when you first get your period, do like moms just like throw a diaper at you? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's, yeah. This is what I used like, when I was your age. A, <laughs> there are exactly other ways mean. than like stuffing a full adult size pad in like an 11 year old's pants. Okay, that was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sentence was crazy. Yes. I'm entering Alina zone. <laughs> oh my God. You guys okay. are both canceled. I will get you. Yeah. I'm not. Anyway. Because I'm a brown girl. <laughs> <laughs> done and done. Okay, so anyway, yeah, moms are weird. They like, I didn't know anything about tampons. But I also didn't even like, okay, whatever. I didn't know I had my period. I had my period, okay? I didn't yeah. know. Oh, you didn't know? Well, that day, that day, I, yeah, I guess I didn't know. Yeah. I don't know. I it had just, just sneaks gotten up on it. You. Like, I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything. So I'm looking really hot. In my nighty or my moo moo, is that like I don't really know the right word? And the pants and my low bun, and I and I hear them come in, and I walk downstairs to get water so that oh, I can yes. see yeah. the hot brother mm-hmm. and he can see me mm-hmm. in all my glory. Show yes. him that I show up. pants look. <laughs> <laughs> I walk downstairs and I just like strut my stuff, like, like oh oh you someone's here i didn't even notice like oh go to the kitchen my mom like i've now turned my back to everybody because i'm going to the kitchen to get water my mom like runs up behind me and is like natash natash i'm middle eastern they all have accents and my mom was like natash natash oh my god oh no no <laughs> and i'm like what and she's like you did you start your period and i was like no i don't know what are you talking about and she's like there is blood no There's- so I look in the mirror, the, my entire backside, like, guys, no, I'm no. like woolly mammoths. I don't know what that means. I bled 
everywhere, like heavy flow. Oh. My pants were bloody. My Moo Moo nightgown was bloody. No. Like it was so bad. Oh. And I ran upstairs to put a diaper on. Oh, wow. And um, that yeah. is why did that have to happen in front of the, the hot, 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 cool brother? Like that's the why I can't remember is, his the name. The universe is really cruel to really. little girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah, and then your mom being like panic, like you yeah, can't even like, like hide it. Yeah. She's like, oh. yeah, exactly. Wait, what? And also, what made him hot? Like, what? Why was he hot? He was older, which like by yeah. two, th- and that's two, really three years. All it takes. That is all it takes. And that's it. And he was like probably like a skater boy that didn't say much. Oh yeah. Which in Orange County was like, oh, wow. <laughs> Have you guys, has anyone like turned on The Summer I Turned Pretty? Yes, I binged it. No, what is that? That's like, it's this show, What it's on Netflix. It's like, it's very cheesy and it's Mm -hmm. like very teenage. It's based on like a YA. It gives me like Lifetime series vibes, but But it's on Netflix. No, there's a character in there, Conrad, who just is like this, like this skater, like white boy with like, who like is like moody and like upset and like yeah. doesn't say much and just like goes off on his own and he's like supposed to be the hottest. Yes, the and everyone hottest, hottest kid. Yeah. yeah. Um, but also like everyone on the show is so like they're all young kids. So I mean, you know, they're all like teenagers, yeah. but it's like they're all. The hottest teenagers you can You've find, ever seen yeah. in your and life, they just yeah. put them in this show, and I'm like, no one. And that's it really, not, it that's really like doesn't no matter. Show, show right now, yeah. Like Outer Banks, you guys remember? Yeah. yeah. Wasn't everybody in that really hot? And they're yeah. all like supposed to be high so school. So hot. Yeah. So hot. But yeah, there's something t- to be said about <laughs> sad, sad teenage boys that like somehow makes them mysterious. Or like quiet, Why do we like them? What's quiet. wrong with us? I think because we get to give them attributes that they probably don't do not have. have. You're right. You're right. So it's just us. We're falling in love with our own storytelling <laughs> yeah. skills. Well, it's like the same thing about, about like never meet your heroes. Like mm-hmm. you get to think like you have like these like celebrities yeah. that you really yeah. like and you get to think in your head they are whatever you want them to be. And then if you meet them, you realize oh they're a person with like flaws and then you're like gross ew I don't like that yeah you know it's so true I need to you need to like preserve your own story of that person yeah and like yeah there's a really hot famous actor who I'm absolutely not going to name because that would be psychotic Mm -hmm. um and who I always was like in right now today that I was like this guy is the hottest guy like End game, dream, goal, yeah. whatever. So by <laughs> okay, coincidence. Wait, but who is No, it? I'll tell you guys after the podcast. Oh, okay. That, it would be amazing. Yeah, because I met him. Oh, okay. Because I met him and we kind of became friends, actually. And I I was like, oh, my God. Like, I'm meeting you. Like, this is going to happen. You know, I'm, I still think I'm Pussycat Dolls. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think you are. He, thank you so much. He um, is like, I don't know. He's normal. He's just like a normal person. Yeah. And I was kind of like, oh, oh. like. I don't know. Some of the attributes I gave him went away. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's like kind of like maybe like a little bit of a fuck boy, which, yeah. you know, he's hot, like really beautiful. So, of yeah, course. But and I was like, I'm bored. Like, yeah. no, I'm know. out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like you're you're not blowing my mind, man. Yeah. That was supposed to blow my mind. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Uh, surprise. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. They never do. Well, yeah. maybe we'll have him on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> And ask him, what actors have you so met like, recently? Why, are, why are you aren't just- you more interesting? <laughs> well, ask him, like, did you ever listen you can to tell the us after. Dolls? Here's because. what we'll do. You can tell us who it is after this podcast. Uh-huh. And then we can have him on as a guest. And we will just, like, pry, we'll just, like, pry it out of him mm-hmm. you're like so yeah. he can tell us that he met you yes and yes. he was like i was kind of disappointed she wasn't that oh my god <laughs> would never <laughs> happen would simply never happen it would never um, happen you guys would have to bring on like 10 very hot very famous men and do this so nobody oh, so nobody knows oh. yeah yeah so i can't be implicated Oof. okay yeah okay. i'll reach out to like i'll just reach out to like a lot of really hot Famous. It was Jason Momoa. No, I'm just kidding. (laughs) (laughs) I wish. We know all the hot guys in LA. That's how, like, my biggest crush ever growing up was Jake Gyllenhaal. Like, I was obsessed with him. And then people started, like, telling negative stories about him. And I was like, can you guys just stop? Because, like, now, like, I... I can't I can't be obsessed with him anymore. Yeah. What a bummer. It's hard to yeah. it's hard to be a millennial and to this, this is about me. To have had a crush Z. that hasn't been 
uh, canceled yet. Yeah, yeah, you're Gen Z, huh? Yeah. Gen Z. Well, it's hard to be a millennial, <laughs> let me tell you. Okay, let's let's like circle back here, yeah, really, and cut you off, get Lina. us back to the to the <laughs> to the meat. I believe we started it as the let's meat. Get back to the meat. Um. Okay. So if you could if you could tell yourself at that, maybe we'll do two because we did two stories. If you could tell yourself sophomore running for I'm like not spitting these words out. <laughs> and there's one, like thing, and there's one thing you would tell over? your younger self. <laughs> okay. What would it be for the sophomore president? Like a piece of advice. Yeah. Okay. I think, well, I was really, I told you guys I ran every year, which makes it sound like I was like, nothing can take me down. But I was actually like soul crushed every time I lost. Like mm. if, if there was anything like awkward or embarrassing, it was that. It was that I was yeah. like. I like thought it was the end of the world. I also didn't get on the cheer team. Oh. And both of those things were like crushed me. Oh, but I kept rude. trying out every year and I kept getting what crushed. What kind of fucking high school just like doesn't let someone on the cheer team? Yeah. <laughs> like, and I was so up, good. Grow up, America. It's high school. Okay, anyways. And I was really good, by the way. Like I was literally, I'm a dancer. I was yeah, like, I was good. Yeah. I should have been on the team. Whatever. I'm not bitter. Um, Clearly. Um, what was I saying? Okay, the one thing I would tell myself is like, it is chill like it's not the end of the world and like you're gonna be awesome like mm -hmm. it's okay and all those like the there was like always you know a girl that like got the stuff I wanted and just to be like I promise you no one's gonna care in 10 years like you're fine I would yeah. tell myself that that's good that's good and advice. the misspelling thing like no one is gonna remember except for you right <laughs> like no one remembers yeah and would you have different advice for um, your bloody, bloody? <laughs> nope. Bloody Just keep it the same. Same advice. Don't no change a thing, cares. babe. <laughs> yeah, that, that girl was perfect. No one's going to care. Yeah, or maybe like like use a pad. I don't know. You know. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. You know advice. what? Use a pad. <laughs> Just put a little pad in there, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess that's not great advice but it she is. was great i, think it I is take great advice, advice from her i think it is yeah. great like advice. do your thing girl keep doing it well, i think what, 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 her, what would her advice be uh, that is honestly oh such a good question because uh, i think she would have you. more advice for me than i'd have for her which is kind of sad but it's true <laughs> you can channel her yeah, yeah i think like especially not to get like too deep or too real but like especially working more in hollywood getting yeah. more jobs as an actor all the stuff that i've dreamed of forever you a lot of things about that are really hard mm -hmm. and yeah. I feel like what she would say to me and what I should listen to is like this is gonna sound really lame but she was 10 so get over it um <laughs> like like let your light shine don't yes. dim your light and keep doing your thing and just like have fun like trust yourself have fun let the good times roll <laughs> let the good there. times uh, roll uh. no but yeah just like just just have fun be you yeah, because yeah. I think we kind of grow up and kind of start to not to, or like, yeah. I've been afraid to mm -hmm. like, yeah. you know, advocate for things that I feel like I used to not even think about. Well, and actors, if like, there's a lot to being an actor that you're told so much, like what your place is and yeah. like where to where you should stay, and like, yeah, and a lot of criticism of like what you should be and what you aren't and what you are, and it's just completely different now or I think there's like so many opinions sorry I feel like I'm kind of going on a no. tangent just cut me off if you need to but um there's uh wow I lost my train of thought because I cut myself off it's it's different you now. said something about opinions something is changing oh. there's a shift happening there yes yes <laughs> yes <laughs> yes telepathy <laughs> um it's different now and I think you I just, in my opinion, I think it's, like, important to stand up for what you believe in. Yeah. And, like, if you just want to be an actor that, like, just acts and yeah, that's fine. Like, that's okay. But if you're kind of someone like me who, like, I don't know, has a lot to say, it's okay as long as you, like, you just have to be true to yourself. So, like, I kind of had, like, my family this week was giving me a lot of advice and I love my family. We're really close. But both my dad and my grandma, their big piece of advice was, like, you're just an actor. Don't worry about things. Just act. And you know, they're old and I love them yeah. and I have grace for them. So right. I was like, okay, I, you know, I love you. Goodbye. This yeah. is not a fight yeah. I need to win. But that's not true for that's me anymore. That's very wise. I'm like, I'm not just being an actor to play, I'm, which is totally fine if you are. Like, just have fun. Yes. Sometimes, yeah. like, you know, I'm a comedian. Sometimes I just want to giggle and yeah. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And other times I'm like, well, 
if I'm going to be in like a one hour political drama, that's going to the story naturally yeah. talks about politics, race, social justice. Mm-hmm. Like I, I actually like won't be quiet if something right. is going wrong. Right. You know, I mean, you're already giving your your talent and your energy and time to that type of storytelling mm. and like associating yourself with with those causes. And mm-hmm. then I think it's important that you are someone who can idealistically align with those things. Yeah. yeah. And and when you speak up, like when you say things, you're going to, it's always going to make, like be like you make half the people happy and you piss half the people off. Yeah. So yeah. all you can do is just be yourself because even if and you don't, best. even <laughs> if you don't say anything, then you're going to make half the people happy and piss yeah. half the people off. Like yeah. there's just no way, which I think is something that, like my parents say the same thing like y- just be in- just be funny like yeah. all you need to do is be funny don't get into anything yeah it's a very boomer it's like okay it is. it's it a is. very like but i think yeah. th- the world different is generation. different right exactly yeah. the world is different it is different yeah. and it's that's changing. great advice Anna, and everyone should he- take that to heart yeah yeah, yeah don't think- dim your light don't dim your light and it has to be australian it or is that Di- British? Dim I don't light. know. <laughs> is this good? Don't, don't dim, dim your light. Don't, <laughs> don't dim. That was great. Don't dim you your light. Timmy, do not dim your light. Why? I've been watching Love Island. I love um, that. Timmy, do not dim your light. Is Timmy a character? Timmy is one of the guys there. Does he dim his Does light? He dim his light? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no one on They're Love Island is dimming boys. their light. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, thank you, so, thank you much so much for coming, Natasha. Thank, thanks for yes. having me. You guys are awesome. This has been great. Um, Where can people find you? Yes. You can find me on social media, uh, at Natasha Benham on Instagram, TikTok, Facebook if you're a boomer and you hated this <laughs> podcast. And um, when does your show come out? Um, we start shooting in New York City in September. Ah. So I think keep an eye out for next year. Um, I have a movie coming out this fall with Ooh. Nicole called Magic Carpet Rides. Yeah. People can find that on Tubi. I'm also in that movie. Yes, Alina's, and Alina. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. All three of us have this I didn't movie work directly out. with Alina, which is yeah. why I didn't yeah, say yeah. that. I'm no, so no, sorry. No. But yes, all three yeah, of us. November <laughs> on Tubi. Yes. Um, we'll all post about it on our yeah. socials. <laughs> you sure. yes. won't be able to miss it. Yeah, literally. <laughs> and Mayans. Mayans on FX. You can catch me in that show. We just oh, got renewed for season yes. five. So. Oh, congrats. Thank you. She's incredible in that show. Dramatic. Yeah. She's incredible in that show. Thank you. Oh. Thank well, you thank much. you again. Thanks for having me. Um, and follow awkward st- at awkward stage the pod and awkward me, stage pod and me. I'm at Nikki Dubes <laughs> and I'm at Alina Buck. And when you follow us on Instagram, please slide into our DMs and send us any awkward story from your awkward stage. We want to hear from you. And we, we might read it on the podcast. Yep. And ooh, don't forget to like and subscribe and tell all of your friends about our podcast yeah and just like comment nice things like oh my god these girls are so great so it's like hanging out with friends like hanging out with my friends thank you so much for listening okay bye